Kathy and I have been hiking the north unit of the Theodore Roosevelt National Park today, which is located here in North Dakota. And wow, what a beautiful park this is. As you can see by the sweeping view of this valley below here, the little Missouri winding its way through this valley amongst all the cottonwood trees and all the unique sand and rock formations there are to see. We have just really been enjoying hiking through this park. In fact, there's a lots of hills with layers of strata, different colored rocks and sand that have accumulated over the eons. It really is a picturesque place to behold. Anyway, as we were hiking through this park, I was thinking about how I had to be willing to move in order to get here and see what this park had to offer. I had to make a decision back home in Richland, Washington that we were going to take a trip and go visit this park and see what it had to offer. I had to get up, I had to get in our car, we had to drive here, and when we got here we had to get out of our car and get on our hiking boots and start hiking through this park to enjoy what this park had to offer. Well, <laughs> as I was hiking through the park, I thought this is a valuable rule for life. If we want to experience something different in our life, we need to be willing to move to move to a different place. And by move here, I'm not really talking about a physical movement first, such as you have to visit this park to experience some inspirational moment. You can experience inspiration anywhere. I'm talking about moving our thought, where our thought is focused, to a better place. In particular, I'm thinking of those times when the human mind is complaining that it it can't feel God's presence. It, it can't find God's love or detect God's care or comfort at work and life. When that happens, it's happening because that, that thought is absorbed in a material sense of things, which is not where God is. God is spirit, not matter. You don't find God in matter or through material sense. You find God in spirit, through spiritual sense. So if you want to experience an improvement in your life, thought needs to move. It needs to move from a material sense of things to a spiritual sense of things. And then God's reality comes to life. You detect and find God's presence right there with you, as close as the thought you think. Jesus Christ said, follow me, meaning follow me to heaven, to spiritual mindedness. Well, to follow someone implies that you need to move, right? You need to move from where you are to where your leader wants you to be. You can't hold on to your old position. You gotta be willing to let it go and move forward to a new position. Well, he's really saying move from material sense to spiritual sense, and then you'll find the reality of God like I know God. You'll feel more of God's presence at work in your life. You'll experience more of God's healing power. So, if you'd like to experience an improvement in your life, if you'd like to see things get better or improve in some kind of significant way, be willing to move. <laughs> be willing to move to a new inspired perspective, a spiritually inspired perspective. And then you'll see more of that awe and grandeur of God all around you. Just like Kathy and I have been experiencing this awe and grandeur of this park all around us because we were willing to move in order to get here and see it. Be willing to move. You'll be glad you did.